How's it going, everyone? I'm Sean Finnegan. I'm joined by Eric Goldman, and we are at New York Comic Con 2015, where you were lucky enough to come out of the Jessica Jones panel. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that. I mean, look, uh, everyone was super excited for this, right? Coming off of Daredevil, there's so much excitement, obviously, around Marvel in general, but that Netflix oh. debut, everyone loved it, and they had the whole cast there, well, except one big exception, David Tennant, but uh, most of the cast there, we thought for sure they're going to show a lot of footage, kind of like Daredevil last year, where I think they showed almost 15 minutes of footage for the first time. Right, but there was a little surprise. There was a little surprise. I was genuinely surprised when they said, we're going to show the entire premiere episode. Which is totally awesome. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, Marvel and Netflix, they like their secrets. But, yeah, we, get, we just saw the whole first episode of Jessica Jones. Right, so, I mean, a great time to kind of unveil the episode in yeah. front of the fans at a Comic-Con. Yeah. Tell us what you thought. I, I loved it. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very strong first episode. I mean, I I can say there's some minor quibbles, a couple of lines I thought were a little cheesy, but overall it really works. And I will say this, you know, Daredevil was like really dark for Marvel. and Everyone brought totally. that up, uh, especially considering everything they'd done before. Very dark, very mature. This outdoes it. I mean, this, this goes just in the first episode to some very mature places. They made an announcement, Jeff Loeb at the beginning said, I have to remind you that uh, this is Netflix stuff gets pretty mature if you brought kids. I felt a little uncomfortable because there were some kids huh. and there's some adult content in this that isn't very kid friendly, but it's it's great. That sounds really awesome that yeah. they're committing to this dark angle. Yeah. I love Daredevil for the same reason. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, it's adult, it's mature. It's really interesting to hear that they're committing to that angle. Yeah, I, I mean, I will, you know, just I'll say, uh, Looking at this, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but I felt like Marvel said to them, you can't do nudity and you can't say the F word. Everything else is on the table. I'll just say, I'll just say sex scenes alone for a Marvel project. You're like, whoa, this is like, you could hear the audience was kind of like, ooh, like the nervous yeah. laughter because there's like a sex scene that's like, Hmm, this is going on for a while. <laughs> this That's is crazy. Yeah, something yeah. you wouldn't see in like a Guardians of the Galaxy. No, or you would not. Yeah, uh, and and then just the what's you know if you know the comic books at all, I won't go into the detail because I don't want to give anything away. But who Jessica Jones is, what her backstory is, extremely dark and disturbing. And the premiere episode immediately starts to give you little hints of it without telling you the whole story. And uh, yeah, I was I was very impressed. And it just seems like they're going to a whole new level with all this Netflix stuff. Awesome. I mean. Obviously, we've had Daredevil before on yeah. Netflix. It's the Jessica Jones has a great cast. Yeah. There's all the parts or all the pieces are in play for mm -hmm. this to be a great show. It is. Is as far as what you think is it relation to Daredevil? Like, mm -hmm. how is it going to be very different? Like, will we see just as much success? Um, I don't know. You know, I, I, you know, obviously Jessica Jones is going in with no name value as far as the mainstream is concerned, right? Like Daredevil, just because of the Affleck movie, a lot of people knew. So I think that'll be a little more of an uphill battle. But because everyone knows. You know, everyone loved Daredevil. They're going to give this a big chance. And I don't know you know, if Matt Murdock's going to make a cameo or not. I feel like maybe he could. But the fact that they introduced Luke Cage, I should mention he is in the premiere episode too, and you get to know him. Uh, it's all really exciting because they're leading towards the Defenders. Totally. And, and I should mention that they did one little fun thing. They brought Kristen Ritter, Mike Coulter playing Luke Cage, and Charlie Cox who plays Daredevil. They brought him on stage for just a second and was like, here's the Defenders, minus Iron Fist because they haven't cast him yet. Right. Uh, and so knowing that's coming, and that's going to be weird because she doesn't seem like she'd fit in a team at all. But, you know, neither did Thor, and they made that work, so we'll exactly. see. Yeah. Well, a lot of really interesting things to look forward to. I can't, I'm super jealous that you got to go to this. Th I'm very excited for Jessica Jones. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the comic so much, and so I'm so happy to have seen the first episode and really liked it, because, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see the rest of it. We have a release date, November 20th, I November believe. November 20th, all 13 episodes. So you can catch that on Netflix, but uh, leading up to the release, we'll obviously be doing a lot of content. Uh, kind of getting you guys in the loop with what to expect from Jessica Jones. So if you're interested in that or anything New York Comic Con, you are already in the right place on IGN.